Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech and today we're going to be doing a review of the Raydem True Wireless Earbuds. Now, full disclosure, the company sent these to me for free for review, but they have no bearing on the review. They're not paying me for a review to say specific things about it. They're not getting to see this review before it actually comes out. They'll see it the same time you guys do, but they did send me the product for free for full disclosure. And the link to this is going to be in the video description down below where it says see more in case you want to go check it out and you know see some of the other reviews if you want to buy it that's where you would go to look for this here so look in the video description for the link if you're curious and want to go check it out yourself let's go ahead and have a look and see what all comes in the box when you get this thing the earbuds are really well packaged and as soon as you open the box you'll get the warning to let you know to take off the plastic insulation over the copper contacts now the earbuds are already well charged when you first get them but you still have to take the plastic coating off the contacts so when you do have to charge them they're ready to go and you get the portable charger case that comes with the product and the earbuds are inside of those each thing inside the box is well inserted into a foam inlay so everything has a proper place for it to go under the foam brick is the warranty card and instruction booklet. You get a small micro USB cable, but it is just micro USB, so you can use any cable you want to for it. And it comes with multiple sizes of these rubberized ear hooks so that you can choose which side perfectly fits your ear the best. And it has two different sizes of the ear caps inside too, so you can swap those out for whatever is most comfortable inside your ear. The little portable case that they actually give you with this thing is quite cool. Inside of it, um, each of the earbuds clips onto it magnetically. So all you have to do is just kind of, you know, drop it into place and it snaps into the right spot so that the contacts match up and it starts charging. And you got these little LEDs on the side that will show you if it's actually charging and how much of a total charge it has. So one of the things I like about this the most is that you can just plug the case into the wall let it charge for about an hour or so. It takes relatively right about that same amount of time and to give it a full charge and then just take it with you. And anytime you need to recharge your earbuds, you just drop them into the case and it'll recharge them. Takes it about a half hour to 45 minutes, kind of just varying depending on how many times they've been charged, of course. And you get a good full charge out of it. And with the case fully charged, you can get about three to four charges out of these things. So, you know, if you're taking them camping or you're going on a trip somewhere where you may not have access to USB power to fully recharge these, it's nice that you can throw these back in the case and recharge them on the go without having to try and find a spot to plug them into the wall. So that's something that's actually pretty cool. Okay, in regards to comfort, these actually are pretty comfortable. I'm not always a big fan of the ones that kind of fit real large inside your ear like these, but I wore these around for a good while going on some walks and doing some actual exercising, and they didn't really bother me at all. There's no weight to them at all. They're very lightweight. And uh, these little ear hooks here, inside the case, there's actually three different sizes here, so you can pick the correct one that you would want for your ear, and it kind of hooks into this top little latch part of your ear to hold it in place, so when you put it in there, it stays in place, so while you're doing exercising, whether you're on the treadmill or lifting weights, doing push-ups and stuff, you don't have all the cords in the way like a normal one, and these will stay in place. And I've done a lot of, you know, shaking around like this, and it stays in place just fine. Now, something else about these is they fit real comfortably inside your ear, but they're also kind of noise canceling, um, which is good and bad, of course. If you're, you know, doing running in traffic, you want to be able to hear the traffic around you or whatever. But uh, these do a pretty good job of canceling out the noise. Now, one of the things I've always noticed about ear uh, noise canceling earbuds and headphones is you can always hear yourself breathe because it really focuses the internal sound on your own head. So you know when you're breathing. <sighs> from doing heavy exercise or even just basic breathing you can hear that in there of course if you're not listening to any music at the time so that's just a one of those things it's not an inconvenience it's not an annoyance it's just one of the things you notice that once you put these in here is it really sounds like you got your fingers in your ears because it blocks out a lot of the sound around there but overall these are quite comfortable I've been wearing them for a little while and I haven't had any discomfort with them I haven't had any problems with them falling out but like I said they do come with three different sizes of these little ear gauge things that hook into your ears and the little rubber part that goes inside the ear canal right there um, there's different ones that come with it too so you can kind of adjust it to fit your shape ear because everybody has a different size ear so that's kind of cool now in regards to sound quality these particular kinds of earbuds are more gauged towards the bass side of things so if you're looking for a real balanced earphone these aren't necessarily balanced as far as treble and bass goes you can still hear the highs and the lows and the medium stuff real good and nice and clear but it definitely has a heavy bass to it and not to the point where it's distorted even turning these up past the recommended limits on your media device like your phone or your iPod or whatever like that it doesn't have a lot of distortion it doesn't get like a warble and stuff like 
like turning some headphones up too far in the bass, you get that vibration in there like it can't handle it. I cranked it up pretty loud, and I never heard any kind of distortion at all. Um, but it is real heavy on the bass side, so if you're listening to something that has a lot of bass in it, so certain kinds of hip-hop or pop music or heavy metal, like I listen to, you can definitely hear the bass. It doesn't drown out the rest of the music. It's actually pretty well balanced as far as how much bass there is, but it's not an adjustable level. So it's going to have that heavy level of bass mixed into whatever you're listening to from here on out. You can't actually adjust it. I guess if you were listening to a media player that had an adjustable equalizer within the software, you might be able to adjust a little bit. But if you're just connecting it to your phone or just throwing it on your iPod, these there's not a way to adjust it. And so you just have to be prepared that it does have a decent level of bass in it. Now, as far as compatibility goes with these, I haven't actually seen anything on a list anywhere of things that this isn't compatible with. I mean, I connected it to my Samsung Galaxy S5, which is a phone that's four to five years old now. It paired with it without relatively any problems, any more than any other Bluetooth issue comes about when you're trying to do that. Pairing with Bluetooth is always kind of a crapshoot whether it's going to work properly or not the first time. But once it actually paired, I had no problems with it connecting to my old phone. I tried it with a tablet. I tried it with my son's iPod Touch. And and it was able to pair and without any problems there. And so as far as compatibility goes, it says and claims on the box that it's compatible with 99% of devices on Android and iOS. So as far as I'm concerned, you're really going to find out, you're going to really have a hard time finding a device that these won't work with. So which is kind of cool. Something else that's pretty cool with these earbuds is that you can use them for phone calls as well. So if you have these paired with your phone, your iPhone, your Android phone, whatever, and you get an incoming call, you'll hear a little voice through the speaker in this that says incoming call and it tells you the number. And on the front of this, this major interface button right here, you just click it one time and it'll answer the call. And then of course you hear the call through just the main one you have here. Because when you set these up in here, you pair them together and you have a main one and a secondary one for your other ear. And so it'll just be the main one, whichever one you choose. And that's all in the instruction booklet. It shows kind of how to set up which one you want is which in case you're more dominant in your left ear. Um, but you can actually have phone calls with these. Of course, you just click the answer, click the hang up. And if you have it in your ear and you double click it while it's on, it'll redial the last number called. So you don't even have to click anything on your phone. So that's something to keep in mind if you're up there trying to hit the button to mute your music or whatever and you push it too many times too fast, you may accidentally redial the last person that called you. I don't really have any complaints for them because I knew in advance going into it what I was getting into with these being more heavy set on the bass. And so if you're really not into having more bass in the music you're listening to or, you know, deeper tones when you're listening to a phone call or whatever like that, you know, do keep that in mind before you order these. But other than that, these are really good quality earbuds. As far as range goes, it works standard Bluetooth technology. So if you try and walk a long distance away from where you're at to where your phone or your device is paired there, of course, it's going to start cutting out. Out. You may get some, you know, interruptions and stuff, whatever you're listening to. But as far as just dropping it in your pocket or putting it in your backpack and it's close by, I had no problems with the sound cutting out. Now, one of the things that I did notice is that if you just happen to be walking towards it and you do something like cover your ears just like this with your hands out to the side, it can cause the noise to distort a little bit. And of course, if you cover your, eyes, your ears like this entirely, it completely cuts off the sound at all. It just completely loses connection to it. But as soon as you move your hands or whatever, it takes less than a second and it would pair back to it again and continue playing with right where you left off. So that is kind of something to keep in mind too. I don't know as far as comparison sakes to how other Bluetooth earbuds work out, if that's something that's common with Bluetooth or not. So I can't say there's like, oh, it's an absolute detriment to this because it's so annoying. If you put your hands up, you lose the music or whatever so that is something to keep in mind too but like i said when i had my phone i just set it on the counter i was able to walk to the other end of the house you know and around the corner of the hallway there and still had the audio there so i was able to walk around clean the house just had my phone sitting in the living room didn't cut out at all didn't have any problems with it it wasn't until i started going around different rooms and different hallways that i started getting some cutouts there just because of how far i was away from the device it was paired to all right, so that's going to wrap up my review of the Raydim True Wireless Earbuds here. Overall, I think the quality is pretty good. It's definitely a little bit of on the heavier bass side of things, but other than that, the quality is good. The charge time is good. You know, being able to get a good three to four hours, really stretching it out. Um, charge time on each of the earbuds is not too bad. It's good to go for a workout or even a couple workouts before you have to charge it again. Works good for a road trip or sitting through a boring class when you don't want to hear what's going on with it. So overall, I do enjoy these. Um, if you have any questions about them, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can help you out with them. Um, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. 
Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.